Hello, me hearties. Did you do a very, very good evening to you? It's me, Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live on TikTok just for you. This is the big one. Friday night, nothing gets past me. Five o'clock. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Do come and join us because we always have lots to talk about and we always have so little time to do it in, which is incredible. Fantastic. As soon as you're coming on, of course, please follow me because we need to build up our our followers being a very new stream, but nevertheless, the world's top broadcaster, and this is the big one. Come and join us as soon as you possibly can. Tell all your friends about it as well. Get all your fellow TikTokers on here. There shouldn't be a single soul on TikTok who's not following Scotty McClure. So get following as soon as you come on and tell us what's up. Now, hi, says it's meow. It's meow. Hi. Lovely to have you with us, meow. Good to Good, good stuff. Comrade St. David's sending love. Comrade St. David's, we love you from St. David's in Wales. And say to you, Yakida. Yakida. Good afternoon, Scotty lad. Ali boy, dinky do lad. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome, of course. As soon as you come on, remember to follow. That's the important bit. I wasn't able to post the Scotty car video. That's okay. Don't you worry about that, big boy. Toot, toot. We will get that soon sorted out in a toot. See what I just did there? We're going to sort it out in two toots. <laughs> in two toots. <laughs> That's one of Dinky Do Scotty. Up the custard creams. Simbrani. I love it to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's Friday night live stream. Friday early evening live stream. Cool hat. Thank you, Buckethead. It's one of the coolest hats in the universe. We love all that, don't we? Dinky Do, I say, follow us as soon as you come on, guys. You're watching Scotty McClue and stay with us. If you're scrolling, you need to scroll no further. There's nothing on TikTok to touch this for high quality. That's what I say to you. Wonderful stuff. And you can make some comments and we will see if they're good comments. That's what we like. We love you, Scotty McClue. Bravo, bravo. Bravo, bravo, bravissimo. Bella, bella, bellissimo. Now, hi, Scotty. Dinky do, Bal. Lovely to have you with us. The voice of the people. Ah, yes. The voice of the people, indeed, very much so. And, of course, early Friday evening, people are dashing to get home, but you've always got a few minutes for a quick McClue pop-up live on TikTok. Dinky do, I say. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Now then, there's Rob and Joshua. Can you speak Spanish? Hola, mi lamo Scotty McClure, Barcelona, Madrid, si. Fantastic. There's a little bit of Spanish for you. We're live. We are indeed. My name is Jeff. We are live. Big style. So it'll come up now. I'm just saying Scotty cars as fast as Maria Knight is generous. Maria Knight, big boy, toot toot is very, very, very generous. God save our gracious queen, long live our noble queen. God save the queen. Send her victorious, happy and glorious. God save the queen. Absolutely, Jack. What does Dinky Do mean? Dinky Do means is all well with you and the world. That's what it's all about, is all well with you and the world. We like that, don't we? There are Celtic Rangers. Yep, either we don't mind, Mike. What I would suggest is you go and see them play and then you make up your mind which one you fancy can you give my friend Aaron a shout out he's a huge fan I can Nicholas a big shout out to Aaron lovely to have you with us who's this so there we are uh, wait a minute JSH we need to get you well down the swanee and looking stuff more commensurate with your intelligence there we are <laughs> It's gone. Right. Daft as a brush. There are brilliant setup. Hello from Beverly in East Yorkshire. Anne Jones. I love, love Beverly. Beverly Minster. I just adore it. Haven't seen you in a while, Scotty. Hope you're well. Absolutely division. What Scottish football teams do I'm watching? Hey, you and I don't really watch football, I'm afraid. I'm too busy for that. Dinky do. Hello from the US. Im. Lovely to have you on from the US. And welcome, welcome, welcome. I say, always good to have people on from America. 
We like that. Uh, come and join us as soon as you possibly can. I'm going for a pint of stout soon, Scotty. La Hoob, please enjoy. It's a perfect day for a pint of the black stuff. So do enjoy, I say. Make sure you don't have too many. We don't want you being stout. <laughs> See what I just did there? Uh, I was watching your uh, own stuff on the radio. It's so funny. Vors, uh, thank you so much. Absolutely. Yes, go and see them. Guys, get yourselves on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. We are live on the radio. Dinky do. We're live on the YouTube when we were live on the radio. Thank you, Sir Island. Joy for sure. Do la hoop. Hey, Delboy, Lewiski. Are you okay? I'm perfect. Hard and stains. Absolutely perfect. I haven't enjoyed myself so much for years. TikTok is outstanding. So there we are. Now, who else have we got with us? Come and join us and tell us what is what. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. We need lots and lots of people following. We're probably a bit early tonight, but that's absolutely fine. I don't think that's a bad thing. Arch, uh, that's wearing a bit thin. So I think we'll, uh, shall we ban Arch, guys? We've been banning most of the candy mob. Just getting shot of them because they're so dull. There we are, fantastic. Right, so what do we got here? TikTok's given so many a new lease of life. Mark, it's absolutely fantastic. All the wonderful people that have been coming on. We just started this as a bit of fun. And uh, we felt that the news was so serious and negative and depressing. People were looking for a much better alternative. And, of course, Scotty McClure's The New TV. I'm back from yesterday, did you do ARX? I lost my flat cap in the train, Scotty, got it. You'll get another one, or somebody might have handed it in. There we are. Now, Limerick in Ireland. Charlie, I know Limerick. I used to go across the ferry on the Shannon and drive up to Limerick. There we go. Now, Berlin, we don't say that sort of language, so we'll send you down the river. Fantastic. That's him away. End of Berlin. User 8052 is no longer that. <laughs> they are toasts. <laughs> Fantastic. Dinky do, Scotty. No problem, Jerry. Love to have you with us. There's Archie saying his name is Archie. Yeah, get away. Some teenagers said nice hat to me earlier when I was wearing my flat cap. Oh, they love it. Everybody loves a flat cap. Scotty, is it true you have the power of being immortal? Well, Simperoni, have a look at the evidence sitting in front of you. <laughs> so there we are. I'm from Scotland. We love that. Yes, Scotty, boss man. How's the day? The hat looks boss. George Dinky do. How's things with you, sir? Absolutely fabulous, Scott. There's a wonderful, wonderful Maria Knight popping on to say hi. And of course, as always, being extremely generous to Scotty McClure. Maria, thank you so much. You are an absolute angel. And she's sending me red roses. Drum Chapel loves you. We love Drum Chapel, Scott Fraser. Been watching the election all day. Horrible day for Labour. Oh, Mark, yes. Well, I don't think they've been getting it right for a long time. Labour's mistake in Scotland was not backing independence. Otherwise, the Labour lady at the time, in 2014, may well have been the next false minister. Have you ever seen a goth? Yes, I have. Have look here. Kevin is good enough for Real Madrid. Oh, absolutely. Yes, indeed. I love the Scotland team. What's your opinion on Iron Brew? Oh, oops. Just seen your handle there. You'll have to go. We don't want you kind of people on here. Defo. Defo not. Oh. Oh. There we go. He's gone. That's his name's actually Dylan, but I mean, we can't have that. Can't have that sort of thing on here, I say. So there we go. Bye-bye to Dylan. Maria, thank you so much. Maria has very, very kindly sent me 100 red roses. This is on top of the thousands and thousands and thousands of gifts Maria has given me. I was wondering, 
Hang on a minute. I was wondering when I'd inevitably see you pop up on my FYP. Jack, how does that work then? Inevitably. You're spot on about Labour, Scotty. Oh, absolutely. Listen, I'm apolitical. I don't really have any political persuasion. But I have to say, I know my politics very, very well indeed. So always hang about if Scotty McClue makes a pronouncement, it usually comes to pass. There we are. So that's the thing. Uh, what's your opinion? Oh, amazing. Uh, every time, what do we got here? The more people interact and like and comment, the more times you'll be on the FYP. Simperoni, does that include tapping the screen? There we are. Who did you vote for, Jack? You never ask people who they voted for. So did you not vote yesterday, Scott? Oh, yes, I voted, D-Tan. Yes, absolutely, I voted big style. Just because I'm apolitical in the media doesn't mean I don't have a vote. So there we go. So definitely, yes, indeed. I mean, being apolitical as a commentator does not mean that you do not vote as a person. Can you shout me out, says Josh. I can, Josh. Opinions on the SNP. I think they're outstanding. It'll be very interesting to see what happens. Can I get a hi to Tasman, Daniel, and Milo, please? Yes, Midget, you can. Uh, apparently, when you tap, it stops the viewers going up, and commenting on a live gets more viewers. All oh, right. Have you seen the big Boris balloon? That's a bit harsh. I'd rather you just called him the Prime Minister. Opinions on Tories? Well, I don't know any, Jack, so I wouldn't know where to start. I don't think I've ever met a Tory. Hello, everyone has a preference. Oh, yes. There's a difference between a preference and being political, you know. And, of course, I like to keep an open mind. I might decide to change, you see. I mean the party. Oh, yes, absolute Jack. Excellent party. What's a Tory Scotty? What are these people on about? We don't know, Simperoni, but no doubt we'll find out before the end of life. Maria, can I thank you so much for coming on and giving me these beautiful roses? Wonderful stuff. Dinky-doo, I say, from Scotty McClue to every single one of you. There, there we are. Now, what do we got here? Follow us, guys. Dinky-doo. So there we are. You're some political teacher you meet. Well, I do my best, you see. I know my stuff. Uh, Maria, thank you so much for your TikToks. Maria's back, guys, and she's giving me TikToks. This lady is so kind to Scotty McClure. A bad, 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 bad man. The only bad, 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 bad man I've ever met in my life. Took money off me in a business deal years ago. And, um, you know, the kindness on here is just a bit overwhelming. So there we are. Um, thank you for making me feel happy with these lives, Scotty. You're such a good top man, diggy do Simperoni, you are a very, 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 very good top man. I think a referendum right now is the wrong time. Recovery first referendum later. Mark, you've had your head stuffed with nonsense, son. Right? There's always a right time for a referendum. Otherwise, it'll always be the wrong time. So a referendum now is fine. Don't listen to all that jargon that we need to recover first. Right? We're recovering. Whether we have a referendum or not, we're recovering. Yes? And the people are not sick and fed up of referenda. And the Scottish people will be healed and brought together by a referenda. So Indiref 2 suits everyone except Westminster, which has governed Scotland very, very badly for 313 years. All I would say is when we do become independent, it's vital the monarchy is secure because that's the old Scots love the monarchy. Any true Scot, an anti-monarchist is an anti-Scot. Have you got all that? I think the referendum, so there's no wrong time, Mark. 
the referendum would be fabulous and it would be very good for Scotland. Yes, and then if we get our answer, we get our answer. But remember, we've had two referenda, one on the future of Scotland in 2014 and the other on the future of the UK uh, coming out of the EU in 2016. Now, both have failed the people. Scotland should have been independent, but people listened to unionists, and uh, we should never, ever, 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 ever have come out of Europe. So both these referenda have failed. That would be my only concern about Indiref. Will it serve the people properly? Yes. Will it bring independence? And don't be fooled by parties or anything like that. Matt says, I love this. You sound like every random AM radio station I stumble upon. Matt, suggest what station I sound like. Because I don't think you've ever stumbled upon an AM radio station in your puff. Okay, Scotty, everything I come online, you're always live. Loop, good, a loop. We want that. I like the fact that your timing is excellent and you managed to catch the very rare occasion when Scotty McClue's live. We like that. Dinky do. Lol, lol, lol. Uh, why do people act like referendums are such a burden? We have them for everything in Ireland. Absolutely, Lorcan. They're not a burden at all. It's just that Westminster, and in particular the right wing of Westminster, is panic-stricken that Scotland might take their money and go. <laughs> because Scotland, you know, the, 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 they've put out the story that um, Scotland gets more money than England and all that stuff. Scotland gives all of its money to Westminster, all of it, every penny. It's an alarm back. So there we are. The wonderful Maria Knight. Thank you so much, Maria. You're such a beautiful person, and you are so kind to Scotty McClure. Good afternoon, Mr. McClure. Do you want Scotland to be independent? Well, I think the Scottish people do, Obama. But we'll find out. We'll find out. There we are. You said no in 2014, Scottish Island. Ah, yes, I didn't say no, but they very, very, very narrowly missed Scotland being independent because they'd been frightened by unionist fibs, fibs, whoppers, misconstruents of the truth. And that frightened the oldies. They frightened the pensioners. You see, uh, HP, you never, ever, ever ask anybody who they voted for. Nathan, I'll come to you in a minute about the electric vehicles. Uh, so we didn't, we, we did say no, but then we've had Brexit and Brexit has changed everything because all these countries were dragged out of Europe against their will. So the only country that wanted it, I think, was was uh, was England, wasn't it? And a bit of Wales. You're right. We're right, trans. Of course. Of course, dear boy. Scotty McClure's very, very well considered. Uh, what's your view on electric vehicles? Well, Nathan, uh, step one, electric vehicles have been around for a very, very long time indeed. Yeah, because Charles Rolls, C.S. Rolls, a partner in Rolls-Royce, uh, he actually started out selling electric cars in about 1895, I think. So have a look into electric cars. They've been around for a very, very long time. Your problem is the big batteries, the fact they need recharge, the fact they could run out. So there we are. So Michael, uh, you know, 2014, forget that, that's toast. Here's Tile saying, up the Tories. Right, yes indeed, there we are, but uh, I don't think it'll be up the Tories in Scotland. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. We're very short of followers. Dingy do I say. There we are, wonderful. I'll maybe let you hear something very funny later, if you're all very good. Right, guys, can everybody follow me as soon as you come on? You don't seem to like democracy. No, I love democracy, Ali. The problem is what happened with the referendum was not democracy because what you've effectively got is 2.4 million people 
dictating to almost 70 million people yeah, to come out of the EU. So that's not democracy. All right. I love democracy, but that's not democracy. And also, remember, the Leave campaign was very, very, very highly funded by the very wealthy people who had the most to lose, only a handful of Hooray Henrys, who had the most to lose by coming out of Europe. And we've lost everything, you know. So there we are. There's Martin saying, SNP all the way. Well, you can see that now because the polls have closed. Follow us, guys. Are English voters becoming more nationalist? Yes, I think so, Vibram. There was somebody the other day, Dexter says, wise man, I thank you. Scotland can't survive without England. Now, you see, Michael, that's one of the lies that you've been fed. England struggles to survive without Scotland because Scotland subsidizes it. Do you see? We send £75 billion a year to Westminster. They give us £30 billion back, and you keep the £45 billion. Yes, and that subsidizes England and Wales. Uh, OMQRC, we mainly ban trolls or trolls for mentioning candies. Now, I can either leave you up or I can give you a lifetime ban. Yeah? It's up to you. But the joke's worn totally thin. It's unacceptable on Scotty McClue's live. Up to you. There we go. Uh, hello, Scotty. Long time no see. No see. Absolutely lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. Hi from Ghana. There's a Steve, a Bev, 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 Celtic Rangers. I would recommend you go and see them both, play Steve, and then make up your mind. Can you give us a riddle or a joke? A riddle or a joke? There we are. Um, a guy was in court for stealing a car battery. He was put on an overnight charge. See what I just did there? So there we are, fantastic. Little bit. Hi from Ghana. Wonderful. No, no, you want to run it till you get the result you nationalists want. Well, Ali boy, it's not nationalists. It's economically. See, I'm not a nationalist. Yeah. Nationalism is things like the Tories, the Union flag. Yes, that's nationalism. Scottish nationalism is totally different to English nationalism or Irish nationalism or Welsh nationalism. Less so Irish nationalism. Opinions on Burnley FC. Yes, we go up the Paddyham Road. <laughs> oh, Paddyham, I say. Yes, we like Burnley. Very, very good. Celtic Rangers, go see them both play, make up your mind. So uh, who have we got here? Scotland takes more than it produces. No, no, user 2434. Again, you've been fed lies. Scotland is the larder of the UK. Yeah, everything Scotland produces goes under the banner of UK, Westminster. Yeah. So we don't get the full benefit for what Scotland produces. If you added that, the trade figures, onto the existing figures, massively, massively wealthy country in profit big time from day one. Okay, so don't, uh, don't feed on that kind of rubbish. I say to everybody, when it comes to Scotland, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Well, Westminster restricts Scotland's ability to grow its own economy. Yes, it does, Lord Colonel. Very much so. Now then, who did you vote for yesterday, big man? HP, you never ask. Are you German? Yeah. Ja? Ja, no, nein, a Deutsche Sprechen. Ich bin ein Ausländer. Scotty doesn't do democracy. Yes, I do democracy. Big style, alley boy. But remember that the referenda were not democracy.
Okay, just remember that. It was uh, a party political stunt that went wrong. Brexit isn't actually a bad thing. Are you kidding, Tyler? Brexit's cost us £200 billion to date with absolutely nothing to show for it. There is no benefits in Brexit. There are no benefits to the UK in Brexit. Brexit will mean economic annihilation and political fragmentation of the United Kingdom. So there we are. So I suppose from that point of view, it's not a bad thing. From the economic annihilation, it's the most dreadful thing that's ever happened since the First World War. But uh, in terms of uh, fragmenting the United Kingdom, perhaps it's time. Me, personally, I live in Belfast, but I'm born Scottish, pro-unionist, but anti-Brexit and pro-royalist. That's pretty good stuff. Well, I'm not uh, pro-unionist because I know the damage the union's done to Scotland, but I am anti-Brexit and I am pro-royalist. Very much so. Look what the EU did to Greece. No, 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 no. That's what Greece did to Greece. A big shout out, sir, for my sister for our birthday. I shall, Scott. Yes. Scotland's been told it's not joining the EU already. Black Bob of Spain. Forget that, Ali boy. More rubbish that you've been fed, my dear fellow. You've had your head stuffed with nonsense. These are all stock things, stock lies that you'll get out of right-wing newspapers owned by unionists. Okay? And you're falling for it. Independence is coming. It's too late to stop it. The very first production cars were electric. Well, yes, Rolls of Rolls Royce. Hello from North Borneo to you, sir. Hello, sir. Top of the to you. Well, what have we got here? People can't ignore the fact Brexit does fundamentally change the question. Lord Cano, they certainly cannot. You know, we may have said no in 2014 just by the skin of our teeth, <clears throat> but now Brexit's wrecked the shop. It's a free-for-all. Have a good night. All right, be positive and stay safe. Isaiah, we shall indeed. You too, la. I mean, one of the main reasons to stay in the UK was to stay in the EU. That's right, Lord Cannon, you're 100%. They're filming something in Mary Hill. Are you sure now? Because I remember they were filming at the job centre and there was a film, uh, there was a notice up to say filming today, no signing. A wee guy turned up, saw the lights and cameras and said, what's all this for? Has somebody got a job? <laughs> so I wonder what they're filming in Mary Hill. Wonderful stuff. Maria has sent a cup of tea. Maria, you are just beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. So much appreciated. I don't know what to say. SNP times two, both votes SNP. Scotland give their money to Westminster, but want to get back in the EU and give it to Brussels. No, Tyler. What are you forgetting? Listen, let me explain about the EU. People who slag the EU, they're slagging us because it's our EU. Winston Churchill's greatest wish in 1946 was to have a United States of Europe with uh, the UK at its heart and a single European army with a single commander-in-chief. Yeah. And all the people that fought in World War II wanted peace in Europe. We were bust after the Second World War. We crawled on our bended knees to the EU and asked President Charles de Gaulle, Monsieur le Président, General, Monsieur le Général, please, 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 can we join your common market? And he went, no, 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 you cannot. You cannot, Britain. So we begged and we begged and we begged. And eventually in 1971, we made it. Now, 50 years we've been involved in building the EU. It's our EU. Along with our lovely, lovely, lovely business partners and our allies, Germany, we controlled 30% of 52, 58 countries, is it? 
and 510 million people. And that market had so much clout, our trade levels were right up there. Then the EU decided to look into the tax affairs of very wealthy people. The very wealthy people obviously said, get us out of there. Yeah. So all the stocks were pulled out and people like you were worked from the back to get us out of Europe so that the very rich people didn't have to pay tax. Everybody fell for it. We're out of Europe now and we are much the poorer for it. Okay. So there you are. 200 billion pounds. So when you're saying you're getting the recovery bill for COVID, you're getting the bill for Brexit mixed in with that. All right, you got that? So coming out of our EU, if you slag the EU, you slag us. If you see this country now from what it was, the infrastructure is outstanding. European money. So we have done nothing but benefit for 50 years of Europe. So get all that nonsense out of your head, Tyler. There we go. Yes, it was. You think the majority were wrong and can't accept it? Uh, what, what's yes, it was? No, no. No democracy. 2.4 million. Or if you take the red bussers away that fell for Boris's NHS bus, 644,000 have dictated to almost 70 million who've lost their EU citizenship. Is that democracy? Do you call that democracy? Tut, tut. You can't accept that, can you? Yes, sorry, Scotty, I respect your opinion of Scottish independence, but I happen not to agree. Love you. Michael, you don't have to agree with me. I'm only going on it because it's the best thing for Scotland. If I didn't think it was good for Scotland, I would be anti-independence. Do you see where I'm coming from? I'm not welded to any great cause. I just want what's best for Scotland and her people. And it's been robbed blind for 313 years. There is no case for the union. No case. No one has ever made a case for the union. Yeah. So there we go. It was, it was, it was built on sand by Jiggery Pokery 313 years ago. People bribed. The king pulled the rug out to bankrupt Scotland. But the economy was still so strong we had to seriously devalue the pound Scots to facilitate economic union. That's what we're talking about on here. So you can be quite sorry, Michael. I respect your opinion, but I'm just explaining to you what's good for Scotland. Yeah. If you don't agree, then you're not agreeing with what's best for Scotland. That's all I'm saying. But I still respect your opinion. Uh, so there we go. Scotty, hope you're well. Hello from Germania. Dinky do Bran from Germania. Now, who we got here? I'll agree to disagree. Talk to you later. No problem, Michael, but do look into it and uh, see what's best. Wonderful stuff. Nice trim of the beard. Did you spot it? Yes. Scotty McClure for First Minister. You remember the people spoke? Yes, they spoke, but very skew-whiffed. And now they're going to speak again because of Brexit. All change, Ali boy. And you, you need to accept it. Can you say happy birthday to my brother Oliver? I can. You're EU scaremongering now. No, I'm just giving you the truth. If you're scared of the truth, then that's your problem. We got him, says, is this pre-recorded? Oh, no, this is live. Hi, Chris from Scotland. Want to say my left leg uh, is hairy and my right one is too. Uh, Scotland will soon have their country back. Respect from Albania. Jirai, we thank you. What's your thoughts on Irish unity? Well, do the people want it? You deserve the best life ever, mate. I love your accent. Dinky do IT. You deserve the best life ever. No such thing as Scottish independence. No, but there's such a thing as Scottish independence. Yes. In other words, it gets free from Westminster. You look at uh, a party like UKIP, United Kingdom Independence Party. Yeah. So they're free from Europe, but the party uh, is for the United Kingdom, which is going to get broken up. Say so it's about 50-50 in the north, which is a fairly dicey situation. 
Yes, well, no, 50 50 is quite good, Lorcan, uh, you know, for starters. And then you have to say, why would you want to reunify Ireland? What would the benefits be? Would you like all of Ireland to join with the UK? Would you like all of Ireland to be under the Queen? You know, have a think about all these things. There was a friendly vote recently here not to be taken into account yet, and the majority went, want unity. Interesting, is that in the North Stair or in the Republic? There we are. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Lots to talk about, so little time to do it in. Uh, what's interesting about this is that... Uh, Things are changing. You know, I mean, there's no doubt that with Brexit, Northern Ireland's been flung under a bus. Oh, no, 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 the Republic absolutely want you to. Are you sure, Lord Colonel, would the Cheesuck and the Doyle like to pick up the tab for the North? There's Georgie Parker. It was in the North. Ah, it was in the North. Right, gotcha. So there we are. That was the RTE one, Radio Television. Fantastic. We love it. Now then, Queen Elizabeth isn't my queen. Chris, Queen Elizabeth is everyone's queen. She's your head of state. So a little bit of respect. Thank you very much. She's everyone's queen, regardless of your race, your creed, your color, your nationality, your religious persuasion. She is your queen respect to your queen there we are you don't have to bow or anything just a wee pleasant bow that would be it that's what you do maria you are such a princess maria has sent me maria is my queen and she's sending me tiktoks it's beautiful hello mr mcclue how are you dinky do 100 percent sure wait a wee minute 100 percent sure yes when irish people bring it up the heart always says unity. Yes, but what does the treasury say, Lorcano? You can't just live off your heart. You can't, you can't eat a wall. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we've got to get moving there. Scotland and Ireland would be good together. Would you like Scotland to unite, but do they unite with Northern Ireland or do they unite with the Republic? Bro, I always see you live. Is there nothing else you've got to be doing? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. No, no, this is the most important thing in the lives of the people. We pay the tax. It means everything to us. What does it mean to you? What is God? God is good, orderly discipline. God is good, triumphing over evil. Yes, God is a supreme being. God is a power superior to mankind. How's that for starters? There's nothing else you've got to be doing rather than watching. Uh, why, Q Motors? You are so funny. Uh, brilliant, by the way. Dinky do, Scotty. How are you? It's been a while. Oh, my goodness, it's been a while. Um, there, somebody just said it's been a while. Who are you to say what evil is? Are you God? No, but I am one of God's children. So I am one to say what evil is. Evil is like I've met one very, 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 very bad man who took my money off me. He was, he was evil, wasn't he? So there we are. That's an evil thing to do. So there we go. I don't watch him constantly, do I? I've just had a full day at school and then the gym. Fantastic. Thank you. There we are. Now we'll get there. I think all gods are evil. In what respect? Give us an example. And uh, what if he was doing it to survive? So there we are. Absolutely, Mo. Yes, survival is so important. Now then, um, as soon as you've joined us, guys, can you follow us, please? I'll check if anybody's followed since we came on. We're very short on followers, but very big on viewers. Half a million viewers and 11,000 followers. Something's wrong there, isn't it? I'm not Christian, honestly, but I do find the book of Revelations and the Bible quite interesting. Listen, Jack, any book's interesting. How's your day? Dinky do. Follow us if you can. Very, very much appreciate it. We love it.
There we are. No, I don't think I can think of any evil god at all. Yeah, even the Roman gods and the Greek gods, I don't think there's any evil in there at all. Fantastic stuff. Do come and join us. Religion is the root of all evil in the world. You should be good to yourself, not a made-up god. Well, you see, nuclear Viking, that's where you're wrong. Religion has never, ever, 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 ever caused a problem in the world, ever. Never. So there you are. So you got that wrong, didn't you? What does cause a problem, I have to say, is people like yourself who lack knowledge and understanding of religion. That's your problem. Hello, sir. Have you visited London? I know London. I used to live in London, Edward. Uh, do you like vegan sausage rolls? I don't think I've ever had one. But uh, Scotty McClue's pies used to do a vegetarian lattice slice in a rich chicken sauce. We like that. Did you vote yesterday, yes, Tom, at uh, 7.15 in the morning? Now, we're not having this, guys. Hayden, I'll just take that out. There we go. That's troll stuff. There we are. Hayden, I've just given you a ban for being silly. What part of London, if you don't mind me asking, I'm currently based in Hackney. You're not based in Hackney, Edward. You're based in Acne. Acne. Yeah, acne. That's it, the old acne carriage. Um, I stayed uh, in Queensgate, which I found backed onto Hyde Park Gate, where Winston Churchill lived. Hello, you should record my voicemail message. I think there's a market for that. I think McClue might start doing that. Recording messages. I don't like it when everyone talks politics on here. It makes people sad. They want to be happy. Oh, absolutely. We're not really talking politics, uh, Eric. We're really just, how can I say, getting the facts out there. So it's a general discussion. My mom used to listen to you on the radio years ago. Ben, bless her. Yes, indeed. Can we please not politics, talk politics anymore? Um, no, all right, Eric, fair enough. But why? Because politics are rather fun. Makes me happy to hear you talk about the facts, Scotty. Why, Q Motos, you're a person who understands facts. You understand the truth. A lot of these poor souls are very, very blinkered. Yes. Uh, whereabouts in Scotland are you from? All of it. There we are. Now, uh, follow us, guys, when you come on. I'm just thinking we're just about out of time. So I'll dash off. Did you vote Tory? Um, I don't know what you mean by Tory, Tom. They're very blinkered. Yes, why you? Very blinkered. So there we go. Politics just creates anger and hatred. I don't think it's created any anger. And I don't think it's created any hatred on here. All we're talking about is the best for Scotland and the best for Ireland and the best for Northern Ireland and the best for England and the best for Wales and the best for Europe. Did you vote Conservative? Don't know what you mean by that, Tom. You know, why would somebody like Scotty McClure vote Conservative? There are politics and arguments of a Twitter. No, Eric, they're for everywhere, you know. And, um, you know, it's good to learn to debate. Best for Scotland is to keep the union. Well, Will, all the evidence points against that. So why do you think it's best for Scotland to keep the union? Because there's no case for the union. Nobody has ever made, apart from Queen Anne in 1707, no one has ever made a positive case for the union of Scotland and England. You see what I mean? So there we go. Now, uh, good man, absolutely, yes. Yes, indeed. Well, Tom, I don't know what you are. I don't vote at all. It's pointless, as they'll do with the light regardless. Once they're in power, not necessarily, Reese. You know, you'll find that uh, the First Minister of Scotland has stuck by her promises. Very, very good stuff. So there we go. Uh, there we are. Alison Darling said union. Yes, he did. He did, Padgett. So that kind of says it all, doesn't it? Right. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? Join in if you know the words. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. 
Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir. And a cheery oh. Tara, my loves. Thank you. Take great care of yourselves. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed being with you. As we say in the very best of circles, dinky doo.